Hello and assalamu alaikum. So this lecture is about logic gates or uh, logic gates are basic building blocks which are used to build any electronics around you. No matter what electronic device you are using, no matter what gadgets you are using and chances are that those gadgets are made up of the logic gates. So what are logic gates? Logic gates as all the matter is made up of atoms and all living beings are made up of cells. Similarly, all electronics are made up of logic gates. So there are several logic gates and in our syllabus there are six. So as you would have already seen binary conversions and we know that we have to convert from binary to denary to hex and there are um, conversions between these three number systems. Similarly in logic gates we would have to actually convert between um, the logic gate graphic which is circuit and mathematical equations and logical expressions or Boolean expressions and truth table and vice versa. So they all are being converted from one to other. So let us start with the introduction all right first thing is that you would have to recognize the gates and their uh, properties and how they work and all so logic gates so first thing that you have to understand is the shape of every logic gate that we have so the first one is logic gate shape actually we call it mil symbol MIL symbol. First gate is called AND gate. AND gate. There are two inputs on the left and there is one output on the right. All the inputs in any circuit or the gate are basically given their names. So we use different variables to represent it. Then comes the logic of this logic gate. Typically the name that we use for the logic gate is not its name rather it is the logic which this gate practices so it is end then there is a mathematical operator associated to it but this operator actually does not mean mathematics in actual terms neither all of the operator that we are going to use uh, will be from the maths as in for exclusive for gate there is n circle plus which we don't use in mathematics so this is asterisk for mathematical operator asterisk and equations represent end gate and then we have the equation the mathematical equation so the equation would become x is equal to a and b you can use dot or x is equal to a asterisk b or simply x is equal to a b they all work fine okay now logical expression expression is x is equal to 1 if a and b bracket okay so this is called logical expression you might see somewhere in older questions uh, x is equal to 1 if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 that is also fine okay but latest questions basically work around this logical expression x is equal to 1 if x if a is and b all right so this is a little meaning of that mathematical equation in um, boolean expression form okay now second gate is or gate Second is OR gate. We call it OR and there is a plus sign which is used to represent OR. X equation would be X is equal to A plus B and expression will be X is equal to 1 if A OR B. Then there is exclusive OR gate. exclusive OR gate. Mathematical operator is n circle plus. That is why they are demi operator. They are not actual mathematical operators. So expression will be, sorry, equation will be A exclusive OR B. And then we have expression X is equal to 1 if A exclusive OR B. 
Now, before we go any further, let's discuss the work of these three uh, logic gates first. End gate, as you can see, there is input side and output side. Generally, input side is always from the left and output side is always from the right. All the gates except NOT gate would have two inputs and one output. That is set. All the gates except NOT gate, that is one input. All the gates, rest of the gates has two inputs and one output. So what is the difference between A and B and A or B and A exclusive or B? So first let's discuss the differences between these three gates. So let's say you have got two options. Two options and this is A option, this is B option. Okay, so and would only approve when you choose both of the options. If you say I need option A but not B, and would say no. If you say I need option B not A, and would say no. If you say I need to choose both, and would say yes. So the output of the gate should be taken as the approval for the ch choice that you have made. Our gate is sort of liberal. If you choose A, it says yes, okay. If you choose B, it says uh, our gate says okay. If you choose both, our gate says okay. Then comes exclusive or. Exclusive or has exclusivity. It is a little different than or gate. So or exclusive or does not let you choose both. So if you say I want to choose A, exclusive or says okay. If you say I want to choose B, exclusive or says okay. But if you like to choose both, exclusive or would say no. All right. So let's put all these three in the form of truth table. Truth table is basically a data chart that tells about the behavior of gates alone or in a circuit. So since we have got two uh, inputs, total possibilities with these two inputs would not be more than four. So first is zero, then we have one, then we have two, and then we have three. These are the three possibilities which are uh, there. Now, A and B, all right? So this is AND gate. A and B, if you don't want to choose, don't choose. If you want to choose B, not allowed. If you want to choose A, not allowed. If you want to choose both, allowed. So see, AND gate, make sure whenever you choose, you choose both. Then we have OR gate. This is A plus B. OR gate I told you is liberal. Whatever you like to choose, you can choose and it will be allowed. So if you don't want to choose, don't choose. I am actually referring to these two inputs as in you want to choose or you want to uh, not to choose. So if you don't want to choose, fine. If you want to choose B, it is allowed, okay. If you want to choose A, it is allowed, okay. And if you want to choose both, it is allowed as well. So you see, practically this plus is not adding. All right, so this is just for the representation purposes. Then we have got exclusive OR gate. Exclusive OR gate, A, exclusive OR, B. So exclusive OR does not let you choose both of the options. So you don't want to choose, you choose, you want to choose B, okay. You want to choose A, okay. If you don't want, if you like to choose both A and B, then it says no. So that is what the behavior of all these three gates. So let me just revise. End gate makes sure that you, whenever you choose, you choose both. OR gate allows you to choose any or all. And exclusive OR makes sure that whenever you choose, you choose any of the input, but not both. Then comes NOT gate. NON gate, as I said, would have only one input. So it is called NOT. This is the logic of NOT. NOT you can use an inverse prime or you can use a bar so we will be using inverse a prime so x is equal to a naught we won't call it prime we won't call it inverse we won't call it anything but we will call it not so whenever i use the word not that would be meaning zero or that we have not chosen it so when we write expression for it it will become x is equal to one if not a for this particular case, not A. So in expression, we write not before the, uh, before the actual 
uh, equation. All right. So a naught will be if you have a zero, not a naught will be one. If you have a zero, a naught will be one. If you have a one, a naught will be zero, and similarly a naught. And then we have b naught. So b zero, b naught is one. So one, zero, one. Zero. So the, they both are what? Not gates. All right. Now after these four gates, there are two more gates called not end. And not or. Not end. Or NAND and NOR, not OR. So mathematical equation, mathematical symbol would be the same except that whatever the result of the overall expression will be inverted. So this will be X is equal to A and B whole not. And here it will be X is equal to A plus B whole not. So you can check A and B inverse, A plus B inverse. All right. So this is this will be represented x is equal to 1 if a nand b x is equal to 1 if a nor b so what practically these gates are doing these two gates are basically reversing the output of and and or gates so not and will be a b whole not so if you can see this is a b 0 0 0 1 so this will become 1 1 1 0 okay every single input got reversed and then we have nor gate this is a plus b whole not so you can see or gate 0 1 1 1 so what is the purpose of nor gate so this is basically converting 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 all right so let me write down few tips under every single gate for you to remember in end gate any zero is equal to zero in or gate any one is equal to one in exclusive or same is equal to zero whenever you would have same so it means that whenever in end gate there is a zero answer is zero similarly for or gate whenever there is a one answer is one and for exclusive OR gate, it is simple. When the input is same, output is zero. Whether it is zero, zero, it will be zero. Both one, one, it will be zero. Then we have NOT gate. So this is inverse, simple inverse. If it is uh, zero, it will become one. If it is one, it will become zero. NAND gate is inverse of AND. And NOR gate is inverse of OR. So I hope that you get the idea. You can always stop my video, pause my video and take a note of it. So make sure that after this point, you remember all the properties of these gates so that we could replicate them in bigger equations and expressions. So this is basically the introduction of logic gates.